Good morning everyone, Janie here, welcome back. So if you guys saw my video from yesterday, I'm actually up in Reading um, at my parents' house. <laughs> We're right by the airport. <laughs> so um, yesterday I gave you guys a tour of my parents' new landscaping and we are at the garden nursery, Wintour Gardens, that is such, it's such a fantastic nursery. I wanted to take you guys here. So I will link that video up above. It's my video from yesterday and then today, or it's the same day, it's just later on in the day. We wanted to come here and we wanted to look around and see what type of flowers that we could find. Um, like I said, there's an airport right there, so there might be some, uh, <laughs> some airplane noise, um, but I'll try and limit that as much as possible for you guys. So there's my mom. Mom, say hi. <laughs> That's Trish. Um, so this is the nursery. They have a, um, a design, landscape design company called Windscape. And so they are part of Wintour Gardens Nursery. And they're the ones who did the landscaping at my parents' house. So we kind of just do everything at this nursery. It's a really, really cute, um, family owned, just such a, such a sweet place. So I wanted to take you guys around to show you what was here. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so this is the inside. It's so cute here, I love it. So they have this, um, uh, like, what do you call it? Like a gift shop in there. I'll take you guys, there's people in there, so I don't want to take you in there now. Um, but they have the indoors and it has all their house plants and their beautiful, beautiful stuff. And then you can see outside, they're still kind of setting everything up for the season. So you guys, this is where I got my mason bees. I got them from this place. Well, my mom got them and then sent them, or brought them down to me. So here's all the mason bees. Isn't that cute? There they are. And then they have ladybugs, worms, all the fun stuff. So this is their little gift shop that they have. I don't know who the buyer is for it, but it is so cute. They have the cutest stuff here. I've spent way too much money in this gift shop. <laughs> so have you, mom. I know, I can't help myself. should get this for your RV. Yeah, what? Cute. <laughs> Ooh, look at this propagation station. That's cute. I like that. That would go really nicely. That would go nicely in my house. <laughs> We're going to fight over it. That's cute. Isn't that cute? I love that. That's pretty, huh?
And they have all their bulbs to hold myself back. Do I have this kind? Okay, should we go outside? This is cute. Oh, that's so cute. You need that for your this bird is area. Terrible. I should not bring you shopping. <laughs> that's so cute. You need that. Okay, you guys. Oh, they have a big mound of dirt. What's that for? So right here is where I found that um, fresh cut flower sign. It was hung out outside here. It looks like they don't have any more. But these are like their outdoor signs. Ooh, what's this? It's like a camellia. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What kind? Jury's Pearl Camellia. Very pretty. Enchanted Forest Gay Goblin Lily of the Valley Shrub. Gorgeous. Look at those. Here's that forsythia you said you wanted. One of my mom's neighbors has this in the backyard and it looks so pretty right now. So it is beginning of March. So things are just starting to get going right now. Looks like they're setting everything up. But it's cool to see what they do have. Ooh, what is this? Nuccio's Pearl Camellia. Ugh. Look at that. I thought this was supposed to be white, but I guess not. Gorgeous. What was this called? Erica? Yeah. We call it Mediterranean pink heather. Oh. Isn't that pretty? I think Blair has this in her yeah. front I have pot. It all around my gate. Oh. oh. This is the Kramer's Supreme. I took a picture of this in Home Depot because it looks so pretty. Chickens, Pamela. <laughs> okay. Here's the fruit. I'm looking for two blueberries. You guys all have convinced me to put in my half wine barrels in my backyard, I'm gonna put two blueberry bushes and then surround it with strawberries. Such fantastic ideas, you guys. So now I'm just on the lookout for a blueberry bush or two so that they can pollinate each other that um, does well in warm environments. So let's see what they have. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is really helpful. It's a handout that they have laminated over by their berries and this talks all about these, they say, bushel and berry blueberries, compact varieties specifically for container planting, which is what I'm gonna be doing. But then I can look here and they have it divided up into zones. So I can see peach sorbet has 300 or less chill hours. Pink icing, 600 chill hours, zone five through 10, so I'd be good there. Peach sorbet, midnight cascade, hmm. I wonder which one I should, ooh, Silver Dollar Dwarf. Pineapple flavored berries. 
Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can find. I think they're talking about this brand right here. Okay, so I think the two blueberries I chose are both bushel and berry, homegrown berries. This one is called Silver Dollar Dwarf Blueberry. Um, let's see, it's a zone five through 10, and it says a medium-sized blueberry with a sweet pineapple flavor and foliage resembling eucalyptus, which is honestly what sold me. <laughs> so that one, and then another one to be the pollinator, this one is Peach Sorbet. And this is also zones five through 10, and this only has, I think, 300 chill, 300 or less chill hours. So I feel like that that will be really good for us. Um, let's see. Uh, peach sorbet is a compact blueberry with stunning peach, pink, orange, and emerald green leaves. White bell-shaped flowers appear in spring, leading to an abundant summer crop of blueberries. Awesome. So, oh look, so this plant is self-pollinating. I wonder if this one's self-pollinating. Doesn't matter, because I have two. Looks like not, but doesn't matter because I have two. So just like you guys suggested, I'm gonna get these two and then I'm gonna fill it um, around with the strawberries to mulch underneath. Um, and so I have to find a strawberry that is gonna be able to handle the acidic soil that I'm gonna put into these blueberries. So I think these are the two that I'm gonna get. Okay, these two. Oh, there are? Oh, okay, well, let's, look, let's go look at those. They also have really good topiaries here. But I don't think Jason will wanna drive home two hours with a topiary in the car. <laughs> See, aren't those pretty? I think those are privets. Okay, mom's showing us where she saw some other blueberries. Isn't this place cool? I hope you guys can see. Oh, you're right. Lots of blueberries. Um, it's got to be the low chill hour kind. Okay, that's the jelly bean. Yeah, no, not jelly bean. That won't work. Yeah, let's grab one of these. This little guy. Here? Yeah, the big one. This guy here. That one. Yeah, there we go. That's really pretty. Just a bigger version. Yeah. Same one as the other, just a bigger version. Put this poor guy back. We're gonna go see if we can sneak into the greenhouses and see what they're growing back there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at all of this. Oh, it's warm in here. So these are all their warm season annuals. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. proven winners over there. Yeah. How cool. Ground cover, moss. Oh, how neat. And there's more. Oh, how pretty. It's roped off or I would walk in here. <laughs> I don't want to get totally kicked out. <laughs> Not roped off. Wow. These are vegetables, herbs. Oh, cool. Oh boy. All tomatoes, you guys. 
Well, Mom, you don't need any of these, do you? <laughs> I think you have a couple of tomatoes back at home. Thank you. I couldn't help myself. And I can't throw them away. Oh. No, of course you can't throw them away. <laughs> Ooh, look at this pretty color. What is that? Kale? Pretty, pretty. You should put those in your raised beds. Ooh, it's hot in here. So this is obviously not in the normal retail area. My mom does know the owner of this place and she did say that we could come take a peek back here. So we're not totally sneaking around. So this is their, uh, usually their shade garden area and they have the shade cloth spread all over. And it's funny, last year they had this bird. Do you remember what kind of bird that was? They would dive bomb everybody. So they must have been a nest or something in there. And there was all these signs up, like, be careful, the daddy bird is gonna get you. <laughs> so people would run through here and try and grab the plants and then run out really fast. It was hilarious. I think Jason got attacked by that bird. I did too. You did? I did. Before I even read the sign. Yeah. I wonder if it's back. I think it was in that tree right there. See the damage from the frost last week? I mean, they'll be fine. So sad. They'll be fine. They'll just start growing again. Okay, you guys, so we're all done with Wintour Gardens. We were very successful. I'll show you what we got. Hopefully you can hear me, we're on this busy road and then there's the airport right over there. So hopefully a plane doesn't fly by while I'm showing you guys this. Okay, so the main things I got are the two blueberries. Um, they're both the berry and, wait, bushel and berry. And we, I've got the silver dollar. Um, and then I also have the peach sorbet back here, which I'm really excited about. Mom got some Erica, some pansies. What is this? Shasta, da Shasta daisies right here. What is this one? Sage. 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 And lemon thyme. lemon thyme. This my mom bought for me. Thank you, mom. Isn't that cute? So that's gonna go inside on my couch. I think it'll be beautiful with the flowers. Happy, happy. And then she ended up getting one for herself. <laughs> And then the last thing she got was this propagation station, which is gonna be really cute. Okay, we just came in the car, so it'd be a little bit quieter, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun going around. We just, we love that place. And thank you to Wintour Gardens for being so sweet to us and Windscape Designs for designing my parents landscape they did a good job um but we just love this place so if you guys are ever so it's actually not in Reading, right it's just outside That's in anderson it's in anderson that's what dad said um so if you guys are ever in this area stop by Wintour gardens it's an awesome place um especially in the summertime it's absolutely beautiful uh so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please consider subscribing and i hope you guys get a chance to get out into your garden today